Hi and welcome. Today we have a new juice review. Now I've been waiting to do one for Can You Vote for a while now and things just kept cropping up. So Stacy and Carl sent me a few of their samples including the two new ones which is Daddy's Donut. I don't know how well you're going to see that. And mother's brownies now if you haven't noticed the little image just there which says who will you crown the winner hmm well for me I've had a sneak preview of both and to say the least I can't make up my mind so with that in aspect I have had a sneak peek at them, mainly because I'm a big fan of brownies. So, quickly run through the label. We're going to start with Candy Vapes Daddy Donut. Now as I went round the label, you can see they're an 80-20. You've got the candy email address down the side here. Ooh. I don't know how well you're going to pick that up. You've got the candy email address, you have the candy website, the contact number, the ATVG. In this little box you have the expiry date and the batch number and just below that little squiggle there, get it to focus in, it tells you this one was designed by Carl. Which I thought was a nice little hint. So the recipe creator was Carl Patel. These are 10 mil. They're made in an iOS clean room. This product contains nicotine, which is a highly addictive substance. Can I just state for the record, these are a zero milligram. It just says there, I can get it to zoom in. I'm on focus, your stupid camera. No, it's not going to do it. But just underneath the name, these are all zeros for the purpose of the review. So we're going to start with Daddy's Donut. Now, I've been told this is like the cocky dough. Now, I was never a big fan of cocky dough. I always found it too sickly. So I never really went for the cocky dough ice cream sort of stuff. So, without further ado, I have it on the Endless V1. I've got these all on organic cotton and they are 24 gauge, 5 wraps, around a 2.5 millimetre bit, coming in at 2.0.2 ohms. So, that is dough. I'm getting the warm cookie dough experience with little tiny bits of chocolate chip. Not like a dark chocolate that most people go for. They've gone for more of the milk chocolate based. First impressions on this, it's not over sweet you get left with a warm, freshly baked cookie taste in your mouth. Don't reckon it's gonna be a core quiller. There's not much sweetness to it. It's more of the natural undertones of sweetener that you get in the concentrates, which is nice to see. flavour for an 80 20 juice the flavour of this is immense so the next one now a lot of people say I'm fussy but I do love fudge brownies I mean I can bake a box of fudge brownies and eat the lot 
within 10 minutes. Mojo, the kids aren't very happy when I do that. But. So, a quick rundown of the label. Let's pull that one down a minute. So, again, there's the label, and it says Mama's Brownies. And around the side, let me get that to focus in. You can see it's Stacy Clarkson, who met, who's the uh, flavour profilist on this one. Again, 8020 Candy website down the side, and the contact number, batch number, and expiry date. And these are 10 ml samples. It's got all the warnings for use in a refillable manufacturer's instructions by 4E6. Not for under the age of 18s, and not for use if pregnant or nursing down the side. I will point out, nice springy lids. I did have an issue trying to get these open, so they they were almost Chrissy proof lids. So I have the Mama's Brownies on the Endless Cleaner. Now most people have the cleaner in a stat. Oh, I like singles, so you can really smell that fudge brownie. Hmm. Mm. I'm getting a thick lashings of big chunks of freshly baked fudge brownie and it's not hot it's just a nice warm baked taste no burnt after undertone like I've had with some fudge brownies but they've added in a secret hint. Now, Carl and Stacey probably didn't know this, but I love, love chocolate chip mint ice cream. And it tastes like you've got the freshly uh, <coughs> a freshly baked piece of brownie straight from the oven and put a scoop on of mint chocolate chip ice cream. And it's just melting through all them lovely fudge pieces to give you that even blend of creamy mint ice cream in every bite now you're thinking with that cream and the ice cream is it going to be a quill color now it's not sweet not sickly sweet natural sweet but I reckon it would be a cotton killer after a while because that was only sat since last night and that was fresh cotton and a fresh build so looking at that <coughs> it will definitely kill your cotton off before it kills your build off but there's a lot of juices out there that kill your cotton that kill the coils off and are sickly sweet that you can say is an all day vape. Now with these two new ones, Daddy's Dough and Mummy's Brownies, I reckon they nailed it. Top on the head. I mean, I couldn't do better myself. And I do mix a few juices and I am particular about what type of juice goes together with another and blending the concentrates and I am really fussy. If I don't like it, I'll tweak it. And if I still don't like it, I'll throw it away. And I give up. I give up on quite a lot of flavours, to be honest. But with these, there's nothing I could change about them. There's nothing I could say that one makes the other one better. The daddy's donuts turn me over to more cocky do. So, and the mama's brownies, well, that just nails it on the head. I am a brownie lover through and through. So both would be an all day vape for me. So, moving on, <coughs> we have another three for tonight, well, three for this morning, which is Fragola Scoop. Now, I'm not sure what the Fragola means, 
but when you smell it, it smells like a strawberry yogurt. And I've got this on the Rig V2. Let me just have a bit of my tea. Oh, that's better. I don't sound so croaky anymore. <coughs> I just got a little frog in the throat this morning. Really smells like a strawberry yogurt. Let's see what she tastes like. I'm getting a mild ice cream taste, not an over sweet ice cream. More like when you think the classic sort of. <coughs> More like an <coughs> clear my throat. <coughs> I'm getting more of the it's definitely God do it again. I'm thinking it's more along the lines. They're probably gonna correct me and tell me I'm wrong on this one. A mild Italian cream based ice cream. It's what's coming across to me. And instead of like the sickly, sweet strawberry syrup you get from the ice cream man, do you remember when your nan it used to puree strawberries and put it over clotted cream ice cream? That's the strawberry taste I'm getting. It's like Italian ice cream with liquidized strawberries. Not over sweet, it's just, you just get that hint of sweetness from the strawberries. <clears throat> Which is really, really nice. Little bit of a cool at the end of the vape. So you get that Italian cream ice cream, followed by a natural liquidized strawberry over the top with a little bit of a cooling not like cool ardor like cold feeling that is a perfect summer day vape not when you want some up like in your face it's a mild flavor so for me that one i wouldn't say would work in a tank where the brownies and the cookie dough they would work in anything i think the power of the flavor is oh melt in your mouth I think with the strawberry this fragola scoop this one might be better for the RTAs mainly because it's sort of like the dripper sort of taste but you can still have the tang or an RDA um, let's just see Mr. Keith Jerry was the flavour maker of this one. Hmm. Get it covered in. There you are. That is a nice little thing, I think. Right there at the bottom. Just above the 10 mil. That I've not seen done on any bottle before. Which is a nice touch. It gives the people credit who are behind the flavour. So kudos for that. So this one we have next is monkey shake now monkey shake to me reminds me of a banana milkshake you know monkeys eat bananas but that's what it gets me so we have again down the information on the side of the bottle the web address contact details 8020 batch number and expiry date then the 10 mil and this one was designed recipe creator was candy vape so i presume this was the whole sort of team colliding on this one now <clears throat> with this i'm expecting banana milkshake banana foam sort of taste smells 
like a heavy Yazoo sort of banana milkshake. So let's give it a blast. And I'm using my perch. This isn't one I'd say is a Yazoo milkshake. And I wouldn't say it's like a McDonald's milkshake. It's sort of a cross between the two. You've got the creamy banana taste from the Yazoo. That's always the strong point. But you've got the cool lashings of the ice cream side from the McDonald's milkshake. So they've sort of taken the Yazoo milkshake and they've taken the McDonald's and put them in the same bowl and gave them a good shake up. Now I love banana milkshake. I absolutely love banana milkshake. And so far I haven't found a bad one, which is a really good thing. Now, I, I tend to find one in a company that's not to my liking or it's a little bit off. I am quite fussy. Now when it comes to ones like watermelon, if it's got an artificial taste, if it doesn't make my mouth water, how can it be a watermelon? Watermelon's meant to have all them factors. It's not meant to have an artificial taste. It's meant to pop in your mouth, get them juices flowing, which is why I love watermelon juices. So anyway, back to this. Now, I know my mum's going to love this one. She's a big fan of banana milkshakes. Every time I go to McDonald's or go to the shop, kids are the same. It's, which milkshake do you want? Oh, the banana one. So, I think my mum's going to be stealing this monkey shake off me. Might have to vape some more first. This one is going to work in a tank, RDA, RTA, whatever you prefer to use. The flavour is on point, there's no mildness to it, it's full of flavour, not over sweetened. It's a clear juice so it won't affect your cotton, which is a nice good point to see. Nice and clear. <coughs> I can see me vaping that one all day. All right, the last one for this morning. And I thought, this is the perfect way to end a morning. And you're thinking, which candy vape has she chosen for this? Now I have five others to do later on. Uh, this one's called Candy Calf. Now, Candy Calf, the first thing that pops into my mind is coffee based. I'm thinking, either a latte or espresso. So, this one is made by Matt Chandler, I think. Or Ch Chambers or something. I can't quite make out his last name. So, going around the bottle again, you have their email address just at the top, followed by their web address. Down again we have the 80VG and 20PG, batch number expiry date and the flavour profile's name. So Mr Matt Chandler I think and again 10 mils. Now I love what they've done with the labels now. With the candy coffee, I don't know how well the camera's going to pick this up got like little coffee swirls going around the bottom on the monkey shake you've sort of got banana leaves in gold a goldish yellow color going around the bottom and on the fragola scoop you sort of got like the strawberry the strawberry colors going around the bottom really quite nice really do like the labels and they're scratch proof which is a bonus so 
beverage you. The Candy Coffee. Now, for the purpose of this review, I am using my ENT, which is stabilised wood from Nova Vapes, which are currently not on sale at the moment. And I am using the Goon 1.5 brass. Now that, the coffee smell is like deep, dark roasted, espresso sort of smell. There's something in the background though. I'm getting like sweet, sweet little smell towards the end of it. Okay, let's see if I can figure it out. Okay, on vaping it, it's like drinking a double espresso. Perfect one to in the morning to wake me up before I go to get the kids up. This is holidays, I left them in bed. There's summer on the end of it. It's sort of... It's reminding me of not just cream, the summer. You've got the espresso with the cream. When I strong coffee is, I more than likely say double. I'd normally go for a single, so it's a bit bit stronger than a single. So say they've gone for a double espresso. There's got to be now. I'm not one for butterscotch, but for some reason I'm getting a hint of butterscotch to this. I don't know if it's my taste buds playing up this morning. But the butterscotch actually complements the coffee. Unusually. Now, I don't like butterscotch. I find it a bit too sickly for me. But this butterscotch is more of the creamy take. But there's still somewhere else. There's something else creeping in. It's going to sound daft because I've just done the melt, the monkey shake. But I'm still sort of getting like remnants of the banana hint. I don't know why. But I'm getting espresso coffee followed by a mild butterscotch with like banana chip sort of taste now all these were clean before so I'm wondering if there is actually a banana in there or is it my taste buds playing up Either way, if there was banana in there, I wouldn't have guessed to begin with. I'm just thinking it could be a lingering taste in my mouth. Or they've added that as a secret ingredient. But I'm just getting like hints of it. Like the sweetness towards the end. The more of vape it's coming out more of that banana taste is coming out and you get the creamy buttery taste from the butterscotch I don't know how I've blended them three together but that's an unusual one I wouldn't have put a butterscotch with an espresso 
But I wouldn't have put a banana taste in there. Okay, that's got, got me stumped. So I hope you've all enjoyed the review. I know I have, I've been very surprised. Quick price point on these, they do them in 50 mils and 120 mil short fills. So for your two nicotine shots in a 120 mil short fill bottle, that's 16.99. I'm not mistaken that they do both salt nick and normal nick and in the larger bottles you get the choice of vg based or pg based for your salt nicotine at zero milligram you're looking at 8.99 for the 100 ml bottle and 6.99 for the 50 ml bottle and if i'm not mistaken currently at the moment the Daddy's dough and the Mama's brownies have only got the 50ml version on their webpage at the moment, but I'm sure that will due to change as soon as they get their stocks up. Thank you all for watching. If you liked it, give it a like. Feel free to subscribe to see more. Have a pleasant day. See you all soon. Bye.